Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia and um, you may have uh, noticed this uh, interview, you see it's July 26th, it's just published uh, by Piers Morgan Uncensored and uh, basically they interviewed the president of Ukraine and his wife and you know, it doesn't matter you know, they talk about this, you know, all these comments are not important. Uh, the important thing I want to focus on is why. Why is there this thing going on? Uh, this you no, know, this laughing, fun, positive, uh, light-hearted interview. Maybe some darkness there. I don't know. I'm not sure. I didn't watch uh, because it's very tabloidish. The reason is the media attention on Ukraine war has waned. It's dropping. In fact, I can tell you for a fact because uh, on the DPA channel, the main channel where I cover the Ukraine war. We have a summary and a quick updates, right? The viewership of the Ukraine war actually dropped by half as compared to two months ago. So I only have half the viewership of the Ukraine uh, war uh, coverage. Only half of it from two months ago. So the media attention, the pop people's attention uh, is waning, is dropping. People are you know, getting tired of Ukraine war. And this is the reason why uh this this is happen this is happening because they need to bring attention back to ukraine you know something that is very cool and casual very fun and uh, bring attention to zelensky because zelensky is not too bad looking got a beautiful wife and and uh, he's young people are you know curious and very ideal they, they idealize not idolize but idealize of uh, what zelensky is and uh ukraine is doing this because they needed attention because without popular support uh, the governments will not be able to you know, give more money and give more weapons to Ukraine. And this is actually not very different from what North Korea does. North Korea, you know, when media attention, you know, when the world starts to forget them, they will start to launch uh, some uh, missiles. They will do some uh, weapon tests, nuclear tests, or they will you know, start to say some very crazy stuff like, you know, they will destroy South Korea, you know, they are ready to go to war, or they will like, oh, we are telling the generals and the army to prepare to the highest uh, readiness because uh, war is coming. You know, the sort of things. That's what North Korea do to bring attention back to them. Because without world uh, attention, media attention, uh, then they are not going to get the get uh, compromises from the rest of the world. Because they need the, 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 the rest of the world to give them a consensus, to give them aids, humanitarian aids, give them some sort of money or resources to help them help themselves out because uh, North Korea is struggling and uh, without this media attention they are not going to get this kind of thing which is why they do all these kind of tests it's just for attention same thing here what we're seeing here this is uh they are trying to get media attention they're trying to get uh you me and everyone else around the world to you know think about Ukraine think about Zelensky you know and maybe you know start to pity Zelensky or pity Ukraine and then give them money or give them weapons or you know just talk about ukraine you know become uh because most people by by default they will be pro-ukraine because they do not know the background or history of this war there's no good guys there's no bad guys or they're both good guys and bad guys at the same time so anyway this is a quick update um about you no know, this is actually uh, information warfare in case you do not know and i'll see you in the next update